Hey, what's going on, guys? The Horror Man back, putting a positive spin on Halloween Resurrection. When Jason and I first introduced this positive spin series, I mentioned that eventually we would get to movies we don't particularly like. Well... While I can't say I dislike Halloween Resurrection, I'll admit it's not one I'm particularly fond of. It's still a Halloween movie, and I do enjoy watching it from time to time, mostly when it's on TV. It's just the sequel I'm least likely to watch in the Halloween franchise. With that being said, this is a positive spin video, so I won't focus on that. Here are the things I do like about Halloween Resurrection. For one thing, I'm glad they made this. Halloween H2O came out and everyone thought it was going to be the last film in the Halloween franchise, and rightfully so. That's understandable, considering how it ended. As epic as the ending of H2O was at the time, I still wanted more Michael Myers. And so, when Halloween Resurrection was released, four years later, I was extremely excited to see it. I would even say I loved this movie at the time, because I was just so excited to see another Halloween film. So the fact that this was made is a positive in itself. I do like the explanation of how Michael survived Halloween H2O. As far-fetched as it might seem, it works, and what else were they supposed to do? Considering all of the other disbelief we had to suspend through this franchise, it's not so bad. I'm not sure how they could have done anything better than the whole switcheroo excuse. Hey, it worked. It continued the franchise, so I'm fine with it. I like Franklin the Mental Patient, who's obsessed with serial killers. I like his clown mask, and I do sort of like Michael Myers' mask in this one. As a mask itself, it's really stylish, and I do like the look of it. But as a mask in the Halloween franchise, it's a little too much. Michael Myers' mask is supposed to be blank and emotionless. And maybe the mask in Resurrection has a little too much style. I can appreciate that Halloween Resurrection capitalized on its time. The whole found footage thing, the technological aspects, it's okay. Back then, I loved it. I thought it was great. It just hasn't aged as well as... I would have wanted it to. That doesn't make it any less entertaining, though. Or dangertaining. Really, though, I'm fine with the whole dangertainment storyline. It works for this movie. The best part of it is how Deckard is able to help Sarah throughout the film. Deckard is my favorite character in Halloween Resurrection, and most people probably recognize him from some Disney Channel original movies. The scenes of him and his friend at the Halloween party are my favorite scenes in the entire film. That's what brings the Halloween feel to Halloween Resurrection. There is also a scene where trick-or-treaters go up to the Myers house, and that sets the Halloween mood as well. Going back to Deckard helping Sarah, I love that he's able to track Michael throughout the house with the Dangertainment cameras. In a way, it's the closest we get to a found footage Halloween film. Bianca Kalidge, who plays Sarah, also has a role in season six of Dawson's Creek, which is one of my favorite shows of all time. So for me, that's another positive. There are some pretty good kills in the sequel. Halloween Resurrection features some genuinely funny moments, including the two Michaels scene. The cast, while maybe a bit too famous for this movie's own good, is a cast made up of familiar faces. The film as a whole tries too hard to be hip, but I guess it succeeds in that, if that was its intention. I do like that Rick Rosenthal returned to direct this one, having also directed Halloween 2, so that's a positive. I also think it's cool that Rosenthal plays the professor at the beginning of the film. And I guess it's a positive that I would like to have seen what would have happened after the end of this movie, since it ends on a cliffhanger. It can't be that bad if I wanted it to continue, and I still wish it would. I hate that Resurrection ends this timeline and we never find out what happens. 
Despite being my least favorite Halloween movie in the franchise, there are plenty of positives to be found in Halloween Resurrection. I definitely don't hate it, and I don't think it deserves hate, but you don't have to agree. This is just my positive spin. Be sure to check out Jason's as well. To which hated Halloween sequel will we next give a positive spin? Check back soon to find out. What are your thoughts on Halloween Resurrection? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. Mm -hmm.